Hi, Dr. Chen here. In this video, we'll be discussing the issue of the incision necessary to remove the implant and the capsule when performing the removal procedure only without the mastopexy, which usually implies that the incision is placed at the inframammary fold. The common question is, why is that incision so much longer than the incision necessary to place the implant? Typically, we'll take about a nine centimeter incision to start with, and oftentimes it is lengthened if the implant cannot be removed. In this video, I've already performed the in-block procedure where the implant capsule complex is separated from the surrounding tissues. And I'm applying a fair amount of force to get the implant capsule complex out. And that nine centimeter incision is barely big enough. Had this been a, a silicone implant, especially an older one where it might be ruptured or a known ruptured silicone implant, I would have simply lengthened the incision in order to get it out without putting additional pressure or force because you don't want to potentially rupture or spill that silicone into the surrounding tissues. In today's segment, we'll be discussing explantation surgery, which in my practice consists of total capsulectomy, implant removal, and usually mastopexy. Many of my